Hello everyone, my name is Shankar and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today in this video, we will learn about strings. So let's get started. I have already opened up a blank Jupyter notebook to work on strings. Okay. So what is a string? So we are dealing with strings, right? So what is a string? String is a collection of one or more characters enclosed within single or double quotes. Okay. So if I just say within double quotes, my name Shankar. So this will be a string. Okay. One important aspect about string is they are immutable. So what is immutable? It means that we cannot modify the value of a string variable. Okay. If we change it, we need a new variable created to store the changed value of a particular string. Okay. So let's see a demo in this regard as to what do we mean by immutability. Okay. So let's say I'm creating a string variable by name name and I'm storing Shankar in it. Okay. So you notice all the letters here are lowercase. Okay. Now if I want to check where this variable is stored, I can use id method and pass a variable to it. It returns me some number which is a address within the memory of my particular system. Okay. So as of now name is stored at this particular location. Okay. Now if I change name to let us say I am name is equal to name plus I am adding Pensei to it. Okay. Now name is Shankar Pensei. Now if I check id of name, you notice the difference between the first id return and the id that is currently returned. Because I modify the value that is stored in the variable name to Shankar Pensei, earlier it was just Shankar. Right. So the id is changed which means that this variable still exists in the memory but it is lost we cannot access it now because we modified it and a new value is assigned to the variable name and that new value is shankar pensei okay so this is a classic example or classic demo of how immutability works okay so if at all it was mutable i mean if it was changeable mutable means changeable immutable means not changeable so immutable strings are immutable right so they are not changeable if they are not changeable the id that is in which the variable is stored will be different if we modify the value associated with it okay so this is a quick small demo about immutability now let's get started with our old example let's say i have first name is equal to shankar last name is equal to Pencil, right now I am creating another variable called as full name which is first name plus I want space in between plus last name so now if I print for full name it will display me Shankar Pencil, correct now you can see the id of full name it will give me some id this is the address of the memory location where this variable is present. We are giving a name to Shankar Pense so that we can use it in future. Okay. Now there are some inbuilt methods associated with string variables. Okay. Let's see one by one few of them. Okay. Let's say full underscore name dot. If I just hit dot and then press tab, I will see the list of the available methods for this particular variable. This is the main functionality available within Jupyter Notebooks which makes our life easy. So you do not need to remember whether this method is present or absent. You can just hit dot and then tab. You will get to see the list of all the available methods for that particular variable. So let's say I want to capitalize. So what this capitalize does. So if you want to know the meaning or the definition of this particular method as to what it does you just bring your cursor within the braces and then press shift plus tab 
you will see the definition of the particular method as to what it does. So, it says return a capitalized version of the string, right. So, let us see what it does. If we just execute it, you can see earlier we had all small case letters. Once we execute capitalize on this particular variable, we can see a string full name with name value Shankar Pensai is returned with the first letter of it being in capital uppercase. Okay. Now, if I check full name again, you see the capitalize has no effect on the original string because it clearly states that it returns the capitalized version of the string. So, when we say it returns, we need a variable to store it. So, now if I say new or let us say capitalized full name is equal to full name dot capitalize, right. Now, if I say capitalized full name, it will give me the new altered value, right. Now, if I see id of full name and then compare it with id of capitalized full name, both will be different because I have created and assigned a new value to a new variable. Why? Because strings are immutable, right. Okay. So, now let us see what some of the other available inbuilt methods in it. Uh, the next thing would be full name dot. Now, let us see what this case fold does. So, I just enter case fold, bring the cursor in between and hit shift tab. So, it says returns a version of the string suitable for caseless comparison. So, that is it, that is the doc string of this particular method. So, it says return a version of the string suitable for caseless comparisons. So, let us say if I want to compare two strings, Shankar I have in one variable, in another variable also I have Shankar and I want to compare these two variables. So, if all the letters are matching irrespective of uppercase or lowercase, then it will return me true. Now, to make the variables comparable comparison ready, we will make use of case fold method. So, if I just execute this, you will see everything is small letters, but you cannot see the effect of case fold on full name because already it has all the letters in small case. Let us see its effect on capitalized full name. As you can see, capitalized full name has its first letter in capital, right. Now, if I execute case fold on top of it, now you will see all the letters are small case. But again, will this change? take effect on this variable? The answer is, let us see, the answer is no, because again this variable is a string type and it is immutable, we cannot change it, ok. Now, let us continue to check some of the other methods with respect to full name. So, full name is all small, all small case letters. Now, if I want to check if this full name variable starts with some name. Let us say I want to check if it starts with sh. So, it returns me true because both are small letters and I have given small letters here, right. So, it is returning me true. So, if I just change it to capital S for full name, it returns me false because small case letters and capital case letters both have a different ASCII value. So, in comparison internally, our system checks for ASCII value, alright. So, since both capital and small case letters share different ASCII value, it returns me false in this case, okay. Now, let us say I am using the same method starts with, but I want to check if this full name starts with PE, all small, okay. It returns me false because starting of the string is not PE, it is SH. So, it is starting with SH. So, it is returning me false. Now, we have something similar called as ends with. So, instead of starting a check at the start at the beginning, it will check at the end of the string. So, full name dot ends with. If I say sh for this, it will return me false because it is ending with se, right. So, let us check that whether it will return true or not. This is se, right. So, it will return me true. So, hope you guys are following me and understanding me, 
all right if you guys have any questions post it in the comments i will be happy to solve them okay now this is done so let's say i have a string starting with space shankar i have multiple spaces pencil okay and again few spaces along with my profession software engineer you see i have multiple places at the beginning in between and also between software and engineer works now if i want to apply if i want to remove all the spaces and get each word separately okay i will just say dot split so split by default takes space as an argument and it removes space returns me all the characters except space as a separate string okay so we call this as a list if we enclose anything within square brackets we call this as list in python i'll be covering all of these data structures in upcoming videos so don't worry about it okay so as of now just understand split split by default takes space as an argument where it splits the given string and returns it without that particular character so let's say i have my full name right so full underscore name it is shankar pencil i want to split full name if i do not specify anything with split it will return me two separate words shankar and pencil without any space in it right so but if i want to check whether this has changed the original variable the answer is no because again it is immutable okay so we can see the immutability property at each and every step of operation on string all right so just keep that in mind now if i want to split instead of at space i want to split at let's say <coughs> let's say n okay i just want to split at n i don't want n to be available within my string so see just what happened here wherever there is n it just split that letter there so first n is here so it separated sha from that and k a r space p e are one words because the next occurrence of n is here and then we have d s e as a separate word all right so like this we have many other available methods in it so feel free to explore if you just hit dot and then star you will see many many available methods in it so before ending let's just work with is space is all power okay let's check with is all num so it is returning false because let's see what it says all num return true if string is an alphanumeric string false otherwise okay you need to understand what do we mean by alphanumeric string you can say shankar it's all characters here all alphabets right but why it is returning false right but is alpha numeric compares the ascii value of only numbers and alphabets whether it's lowercase or uppercase it doesn't matter since we have space in between it returns as false so let's say i do not have any space in it and i check is all num it returns true because everything is alpha numeric in this case okay now if i check full name dot is alpha so any guess what it returns it returns false because again space is not considered as an alphabet character but it's a string but this method returns true if all available characters in that particular variable are of type alphabets okay otherwise it returns false so like this you can explore many other available methods feel free to explore them reach out to me in comment section with any questions you have thank you one and all bye